Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my brothers my sisters we are all going to be tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not just one test we will go through series of tests that have been set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if something bad is going on in your life don't think that Allah is angry with you because so many believes they think that when something bad is happening to them then their Lord is angry with them but Islam is different Allah tests you in so many different ways when good things happen to you it is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when bad things when calamities befall on you they are all tests from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when bad things happen to you Allah is trying to test whether you are faithful to him and whether you are going to be patient because patience it is the only key to pass in the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when you are having blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when your life is going on good and everything is going on alhamdulillah is going on good it is also the test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what is the test are you going to waste these blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed on you or you are going to share it with your brothers and your sisters or you are going to keep it to yourself and be a miser these are all the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبَلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ amala. He who created life and death as to test you which of you is best in good deeds So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He created death and life We all know that, right? And He has created us to test us Nobody is going to have a smooth ride in this life you must have obstacles in life. Nobody is going to have a smooth life. He has created the death and life and we are surely going to be tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether calamities are going to befall on us or the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are going to be stood on us. He has created all of us, the jinn kind and the mind kind and we are all going to be tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is going to test all of us we are all going to be tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bad things happen to us in this life and sometimes these bad things they are blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why because all of us we will not enter Jannah except at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we won't quit our bad habits we keep on sinning we won't perfect our salah and so many other things that we keep on doing that will prevent us from entering Jannah so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends and he plans for us to enter Jannah through his mercy. So you see a man, he is a sinner or a woman, she has been sinning all her life and then once she is about to die, Allah sends a calamity to befall on her and this calamity is cleaning her away from her sins. Allah uses this calamity to clean her from her sins. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi said in an ahadith that if a prick of thorn or something bigger was to harm you, Allah will either raise you by one degree in your status or He will erase your sin. So when bad things happen to you, they are sometimes blessings because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will erase your sins. So many calamities are happening to people. Somebody died in a bomb blast. Allah uses this bomb blast and this incident to clean and wipe away all his sins. This is the blessing. Of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His mercy, Al Ghafur Rahim, is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Walanabal wa nakum bi shayim min al khawfi wal ju'i wa nakasim min al amwali wal amfusi wa thamarat wa bashir is sobirin and will surely test you with something of fear and hunger and loss of wealth and lives and fruit and fruits and also give good tidings to the patients. So all these tests that Allah is going to set for us in our lives so our lives are not going to be smooth it's never going to be a smooth ride because Allah is going to put in tests for us in our lives and the only way to pass these tests is by being patient so Allah says in this verse that he will surely test us so that's why you see many people many people are dying 
many people are dying nowadays it is very easy for you to hear that somebody has died Allah says it in the Quran it is there written in the Quran that is why you see so many people dying it has been written in the Quran Allah says he's going to test us with loss of lives and he's going to test us in our wealth you see somebody so rich that his whole generation cannot finish that money even if they were not if they were not going to be working they can't finish that money but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make him go bankrupt overnight that is why you see so many people going bankrupt and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also said that he is going to test our health that is why nobody in this life hundred percent sure nobody can tell you that he has never had a problem with his wealth with his health it is not possible either a cough or a flu or a fever you must have a problem with your health so the key to passing the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is patience and whenever all these bad things are happening to you you need to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you need to return to him he is your Lord he is the one who is testing you and that is why we need to pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us strong enough and patient enough to pass all his tests and may he make his tests easy for us as easy as possible assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh